now the next terminology there are three cases i want to explain for you related to the main method okay very very helpful cases anyway now keep studying case 1 just observe i'm taking class test okay class test public static void main method void main string array arc i'm taking public static void main string array arc system dot out dot print ln string array like i'm taking public static void main so public static void main method now i'm taking int array arc public static void main int array arc system dot out dot print ln int array like i'm taking are you getting right so here have you observed two main methods i'm taking but one is string array second one is nothing but int array do you know what is this concept overloading because two methods have in the same name but different argument types is nothing but which concept overloading right overloading these two methods are said to be overloaded methods overloaded methods now my question is is a overloading concept is it applicable for the main method or not the okay, simple answer yes for the main method overloading concept is applicable but uh, jvm always going to call which main method string array argument if i run this code by default we are going to get as yes, string array only are you able to get right okay this is so overloading of the main method is possible but jvm will always call string array argument main method only okay at this point case 1 next uh, keep sabading case 2 case 2 case 2 it is also very important case where most of the people having so wrong approach in their mind so you have to take a bit very very much care about this one here i am taking class p p means parent class class p public static void main method string array arcs public static void main string array arcs next uh, system dot out dot print ln parent main system dot out dot print ln parent main like i am taking so class p public static void main parent main now i am taking class c extends a pic class e extends pic have you observed in the child class i'm not taking any main method just i'm taking the main method within the parent class only right now my target is let me save this total program as p dot java i saved this total program as p dot java right now i want to compile this code here observe java c p dot java java c p dot java if i'm trying to compile how many dot class files are going to generate two dot class files right now first dot class p dot class second one c dot class i hope you people aware if we are trying to compile any java program in that program for every class one separate dot class file will be generated are you getting right now let me run java p i'm taking and now can you please run p class can you tell what is the output by default we are going to get okay happily the parent main by default is going to get in the chance parent main is going to get in the chance now i want to run java java c i want to run can you tell what is the output by default we are going to get make sure most of the people are going to fail main method is related to a particular class only okay this is the main method related to the p but it is the child class 
Chile class doesn't contain main. That's why we are going to get no such method error like most of the people are going to fail. So here make sure inheritance concept applicable for the main method. If the child class doesn't contain main method, while executing child class, happily parent class main method by default is going to come and it will execute. That's why whenever we are executing child, first JVM will check in the child class is there any main method. If it is not there, then JVM will check in the parent class is it there or not. If it is there, happily it is going to execute no problem at all. So in this case also, what is the output by default we are going to get? is a parent main only we want to get any runtime exception right i hope is a clear so inheritance concept applicable for the main method or not yes no problem at all while executing child class if a child class doesn't contain main method happily parent class main method by default will be executed okay at this point case two Keep submitting case 3, 3. This case is a bit very important. A small modification. Case 3. Here, if you observe, in the parent class I wrote main method. Correct. Parent class I wrote main method, right. In the child class also, let me write main method. Public static void main string array axis. Public static void main string array acts system dot out dot print ln child main system dot out dot print ln child main is nothing but like so if you consider public static void main parent main child main have you observed so if I take like this parent class and the child class method both are having the same name same arguments what is this concept uh, overriding but make sure if these are static method it is a special case it is not overriding what is this concept it is nothing but method hiding most of the people are going to get confused sir overriding concept applicable for main method no if both the parent and child class methods are static this type of special case is considered as method hiding okay this is so it is it is method hiding it is a method hiding but not overriding it is a method hiding but not overriding okay this is so if i'm taking main method in the child class then where we require to change very very simple change where where we have to change is java p parent main java p parent main java c is an atiman child main by default is going to come because child class already contain main if child doesn't contain then only parent main is going to get the chance that's why what is the output by default we are going to get child main is nothing but like i hope either clear for all of you okay this way. so uh, overriding concept it seems applicable but it's not overriding it is method hiding okay this way. add case three that's all these are the three cases what you people should aware so for main method overloading concept applicable or not applicable inheritance is applicable but overriding concept not applicable instead of overriding which concept is there method hiding take a note
that's all it is also very important property about the main method right okay that's all so this is these are very important cases related to the main method right